Hey everybody, Black Chaos here once more with Let's Play Victoria 2 as the Chinese. In the last part, we basically sat around because we need to burn over me. You really do want the alliance, don't you? No. The thing is, when and because we're playing an uncivilization, especially China, if we're playing like Japan, it'd be a lot easier. Because our sheer size it's limits, limits us a ton. Getting close to the point where we can afford to take a risk with the CBs. Um, how much do we need? Okay, how long does it take to tick down one? Um, sorry. So, ticks down 2.2 every 10 days. No, every 20 days. I swear I went to make maths. <laughs> went to uni for accounting. Give me a second already. Christ. Netherlands is on my ranks. So the Ottomans fell? Yeah. Huh. You say he's got Hawaii in sphere. Hmm. So it's got Manchuria. Okay. Keeping Manchuria safe from the US. Um, the Russians is a good call. Wait, 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 okay, Austria's up here. Austria's just letting him go. It's weird. It's like he doesn't really care. Yeah. It's about to let the last few go. So we're gonna see the we're gonna see Prus um Germany form. Uh if they have to go to war with France as well. Uh that's just the rain. Yeah, I don't mean there's a way France can win that. Even if they wanted to. That's going to be a fun war. Because France, I don't think, is at home right now. Hmm. So how are we going to do this? That's the big question. So many things I want to try. So if they'll work or not is a different story. May as well allow my plan while I'm, you know, just thinking about it. I think I'm going to go liberate loads of the UK, like get Ireland, um, get India free again. Probably go to the USA, actually. Hmm. God, I miss having the um, research point buffs. We are getting somewhere though. I mean, we're getting quite a few now. By quite a few, I mean three point three two. God, how oh, might have fallen? Okay, about uh, this year we'll get the CB going, which won't take us too long to get through. Well, we should be able to get a reform this year if we want it. 9,530. Yeah. It's not going to be easy. It's like all the good ones are very expensive. Of course, there would be. Max loan amount minus 20%. Let's just see. Max loan amount minus 100%. Huh. Yeah, that would be very good because for China. Christ, that'd be awesome. Alright, let's assume we get caught off the bat. We'll do it at 3.09. Like the start of a month or something. Or the end of it. Oh no, start of a month. So 
think it takes to the end there, does the thing. I'm not getting a lot of money, so. So I've said again. Uh, more consciousness. More consciousness. Any more? Alright, let's get to work. And watch the court. I think we're safe. Yep, we're safe. Yep, we got plus 100% practically because we are uncertain pro military. Could push that even higher when Jingoist. But let's not look. A, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. We just nearly got put over the edge. Hello, Vietnam. Ah, we can make a CB faster against you. 120 days. Jeez. But, but the Anarcha Liberals have formed. We don't have them. There they are, Republicans. <laughs> Free trade, state capitalism, secularization. Yeah. Might be worth going with reformers. Nope. Yeah, it's been a reformers on. This is, again, it's not going to take too long and then we've got the CB. So, I don't want economic reforms. They'll allow military reforms. Hmm. There's a CB. Uh, nope. Well, Siam, I say, well, Dynam. It's time for you to be conquered. Now we just sit back and let the let the horde do the work. Oh, hello, Duper What have we got? Oh, you want to join again? Sure. sure. It's your point. Send in the horde! <laughs> oh, we actually lost the battle, jeez. Wait, why are they over here already? Uh, they keep doing that. Yeah, I love this 52, let's get, let's get in there just to help. Probably aren't going to make it in time. Nope, didn't. And now we just leave the horde to the work. <laughs> Because, you know, they will eventually just wear him down. <laughs> just eventually there'll be, like, nothing left. I will admit, this is why I love having the substates. You just, uh, you just go, oh yeah, I want to go and conquer here. We'll do it for you! We're on it! Was that Hanoi? Oh wait, Hanoi's down, yeah. Oops. Oops. So over here, let's just leave the front line to them. And eventually, <laughs> they're halfway around the country already. <laughs> uh... God, I love playing the Chinese. <laughs> just, just leave your minions to do the work, that's all he has to do. Alright. Hmm. Oh, form. Land reform. Rather save. Actually, if we finish this war, we can probably do a bigger reform. Just fail I'm just gonna check something. Okay, we are good. So that was game. Ugh. Sorry about that, I was getting paranoid that I'm not recording. I know I am. Look at that seed go! <laughs> Christ! And thus the country falls under a tide of... Chinese. There we go, and our liberals have some power, power there. And they won't be it. Ooh, Burma? Oh no Burma, we're keeping you siege as long as we can. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't really care about you. 
be fair, I'd right, uh, rather not do anything that's being installed to the Brits. Oh god's sake, stop giving me that! Dun 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 Da 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 bum 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 bum. Very like a, a marching theme here. Like right, sending the clowns. And there's their fleet. Are they really going to leave this one guy to siege this? They are. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, it's okay. That's the good news. There we go. Okay, what do we get? <laughs> So, I think Thorn Weapons is the best, just because of Flintlock Rifles. Then again, we're not really going to get another chance to get these anytime soon. And that plus 20%, or 25%, that's a quarter of our thing done. <sighs> Education reform. That's actually a really important one. So that means we get our literacy up faster. Keep saying that, and you keep buggering off. All right, let's move on to seven on we. We should be able to cut out these things. Ottoman Aegean Islands. Hello. <laughs> yes. That's a new crisis system for you. I will admit, I do like that where you if just one person backs one side, and no one backs the other. That's it. Just done. It's awesome to see. So we will be... Okay, thanks Russia. We're now going to get our literacy up faster, I hope. Yes, I hope we will. Uh, what's the literacy gain? 10.94. That's going to be fine. So... Yeah, I didn't think it was Sunni. Not converting though. Oh god damn it. Yeah, we've got the money. Not like we don't these days. A lot of complaints, but yeah. We sell when we get financial reforms. Alright, we could save up and get the industrial reform to get like what is this fabric? Water wheel power. Fabric factory. I wanna think I think I wanna go for this, but then tax efficiency. Finding a mining efficiency. Um you do anything higher than 10, you just do 10%. <clears throat> if they did higher than 10%, I'd be more inclined to take them. <sighs> Let's get the land reform. We're at, okay, now we're at 40%. We're getting there. We suddenly have tons of money, jeez. Uh, okay, put that down to there. Just gotta play about with the slides for a bit. We have the cheapest army in the world! So they we actually spent on. <laughs> Hello, we've got rebels. Alright. What's organising? Uh, Chinese direction there is. Mm. I'm not really fussed to be honest. You go, you guys go. They'll be happier. I believe they will be. So now we got to keep an eye on the flashpoint tension. So, because we're not a great power, we don't get the natural reduction, but we still get the flash points. So, we need to keep an eye on these and hopefully knock them down before they rise. We don't want a liberation movement to happen now. Because if it starts, it will generate flashpoint tension, which could potentially see it go back into the hands of the guy we just took it from. I'm saying we just annexed two guys. <sighs> Spoil system. Yeah, I get it. Bribes. Hey, 
How do we gotta do this then? We do need to keep the reformers in power. It is just cheap stuff, really. How are we going over here then? Still North German Federation. Yeah, still North Germany. Yeah, that's like, well. Which is why they're all fighting over Bavaria. No, them two are. It looks like Austria has the advantage over Bavaria, though. And Baden's between. Was that France put a uh, out of the race? Except the loss. I mean, come on, what else can we say? Uh, or if we look up all, just to keep the emergency low. There are legends to be building, but they're not really. Wow, we get a lot of suppression points. Jeez. Damn it, Vietnam. This is going to fluctuate quite a bit. Jeez. Damn it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop rising. <laughs> I love that Egypt's like increasing relations with us now. It's like they noticed we're over here. We're coming for you. <laughs> Kokand is not in sphere. Neither is Afghanistan. Can we actually access Afghanistan? Yes. That'll be a fun route to go through. <laughs> Let's conquer Afghanistan, go around the back, <laughs> go straight for Persia. Can I actually. Um, Good. Ooh, that'd be fun. <laughs> Let's go, Dulu, Conquer all. Give us a longer border of Russia. Put us straight on the border of the Ottomans. As weak as the Ottomans normally are, they are Western. This is going to be the quickest campaign ever. <laughs> it's because we're sat back and just trying to westernize. We're actually, doing well for. There we go, literacy's getting there quite you now. 10% is a very good start. I think it's starting to hit a snag now. I might be wanting to move on to Henan. No, oh, Henan. Um, yeah, I think I'll move on to Sealy soon. Uh, don't waste my time. Stop saying the chat to be Westerners as. It's not going to help you. How are you struggling to get that? Okay, let's put tariffs down again. How are you making tons through tariffs? Jeez. Wait, 13,000? Uh, 1,300, okay. <laughs> Thank God. It's freaking paranoid then. You guys have that many imports. Alright. What else do we need? Um, pretty much when you're westernizing, it's really how do you want to start your nation? What do you think it'll need when it westernizes? In China's case, it has everything it needs. It just needs to unify. It's like Russia in that sense. Oh, hello. Let's see what they have in here. Alright, goes Jiangsu then. That's unexpected. There he goes. Tons of migration away. Migration. Can't tell. And no. Oh wait, you're the you're a puppet normally, aren't you? Well, your whole has been conquered by the UK. 
I'm tempted to go and eat uh, Siam's uh, Sphere. Like intervention. Mm. I think Afghanistan might be the best choice to go for. This is part three, and we're already 20 years into the game. We're fifth the way there. I think we have already westernized more than China would do in normal game. I do want to eventually get through to Persia. If Punjab wasn't in the British sphere, I'd go for them. I'm surprised how fast Persia can westernize, to be honest. Wait, 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 wait. Hi, Russia. Okay. Let me go, I guess. Uh, it's always my saying when things go wrong. So, I wish things would go wrong. <laughs> just too relaxing, you know? Just some say like, la da da da. 20 years in, and we've done two wars. I'll bet conquest. That's been about it. Who's in the box here? Jeez. Yeah. Maybe we should go with Japan. <laughs> nah, you'll, you'll see when we westernize. This is gonna be a cakewalk. Hmm. Oh, okay. Let's see, it's going down quite a bit. Consciousness is somehow going down. Yeah, it's going. Uh, daily increase. There we go. Actually, got some. Actually, got some power behind them. Both of brigades may join the rebels. Apparently, we ran out of officers at some point. Great sign. Great sign indeed. What's your westernization like in Afghanistan? 20% we're at 40%. The Persia begins partially westernized. Who knows, at this rate we might end up being able to take part in the race for Africa. Very doubtful, but who knows. <laughs> the way I'm concerned how that happened, again, Without my intervention this time. I didn't even do anything. It just happened. <laughs> like a good luck charm in that sense. <laughs> Can't really be more tea, can there? Or the tea in China. Mm -hmm. I feel like taking a risk. I should click that box. <laughs> so why is that? But that's not. Yeah. Uh, consciousness. We're at six percent plurality. Plurality, rather. Plurality. Getting somewhere at least. Uh, we may eventually get there. Eventually. Eventually, near me. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, reform. Okay, what do we want to go with? I might actually just leave it. I could get the boomsticks. Let's get these. Thing is, that reform actually lets us get the musket, so now we can actually build normal soldiers. So let's set up a rally point on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's start building a bigger, small group of these. About six infantry, and we'll do it first. Yeah, we'll get them. Then we'll start replacing these um, irregulars. We'll place some of them already. But apparently we've lost a lot of manpower. Must be changing because of jobs or something. 
clergy are done there, so... How is this going then? Apparently quite fast. No. Hmm. Culture simulation cycles. Taking place site. Do do uh Christmas and Cocos Islands. Isn't that the Philippines? It's a colon it's a colonization thing. Yeah, let's do a find. Really? It's a fight over these now? I suppose it won't be different to go to war over. Alright, let's see what happens. Also, how are things going in America? We have a CSA forming. Some cause of those already. Looks like they got a couple of places where trying to keep the historical stuff going. Yeah, they're trying to contain the um hmm. Spare slavery. I gotta have a civil war soon. Alright, let's see. Do we need here? Yes, we do. They really do want jingoism. There's the flintlock. We're getting introduced to the beginning of the 17th century. The flint. Just give me a second. All right. Beginning of the introduced at the beginning of 17th century. The flintlock rapidly replaced earlier firearm ignition technologies, such as the dog, dog lock, match lock, and wheel lock mechanisms. It continued to be in common use for over two centuries, replaced by a percussion cap and later cartridge based systems in the early to mid 19th century. Although long superseded by modern firearms, flintlock weapons enjoy continuing popularity with black powder shooting enthusiasts. Basically, we got a plus one attack on everything. They use a, a rifle. So, you know, everything. Um, we can't build three of what use it, but that just gave us a bit of a boost. And we're about to get our first actual army together. Well, I say actual army, our first division together. These guys all replace one of them, and they even have a Chinese armor on them. Now, we're not ready for war, obviously. There's a lot more to do yet. But we can start getting everything ready. I'm replacing them in sixes because paranoia. Uh, yeah, we will need to change them as well, won't we? Green standard army. Uh, infamy isn't too bad. Um, I might be able to risk something. Let's see what we can do. No. Oh god, there's a war going on. And the winner is... That's not good for the Germans. Okay, let's just take this in context. So it's... Four against two, but the Germans are... Surrounded. The British have got a, mostly a navy power, I presume? Is it most of your score Navy? Yeah. Mostly. Oh no, it's not. Right, because they're not... They're uh, Jingoist, aren't they? Pro-military. And you are... Jingoist. Okay. Uh, you've got how many divisions? 93. 140. I think... Germany's about to have a bad day. They're all mobilizing reserves. This will be fun to see. Well, I do not waste my time. 
It's nice all focusing on each other and not me. <laughs> I can just sit back in the background and go, yeah, I'm over here. But this is why I don't play on servers. That often anyway. I think Japan's the one exception. Sorry, this and Japan are one of the exceptions to rule. I just don't play on servers otherwise. There's not a lot of people you, people you can play in this and still expect to make a, dip, make a big mark. Which is sad, really. I mean, it'd be nice to make have a game as... I don't know... India. Where, you know, you start as one of the princes and just declare independence. But you're never going to get the manpower to break off from Br the British Empire. But anyway, folks, on that note, I'm going to call it about here. Next time, let's play Victoria 2 as the Chinese. I'm just going to... Screw these guys. Next time, Victoria 2 as the Chinese. We're hopefully going to go to war. We're going to see how this crisis war resolves. Oh, dear. Yeah, we're going to see how this crisis war resolves. <laughs> Apparently not very well for Germany. And then we'll go from there. I've been the Black House, you've been you. Join me again next time for more in the wonderful land of China, here in Victoria 2. Thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.